Hey everybody, it's Ben here and I wanna tell you today about one of the most popular EVSCs on eBay and Amazon. I'm gonna share with you a couple of its great features and also one reason why you might want to not buy it. In front of me, I have the Duocita Level 2 EVSC. Uh, this is one of the most popular EVSCs out there on Amazon and eBay. And frankly, the number one reason why is just price. It's right around 200 bucks. Uh, it's really uh, a lot of value for what you get. Uh, really good bang for the buck. Now, do keep in mind that it comes uh, under a couple of different names. There's a uh, Dostar, Orion, Zencar, Max 16, couple different brand names. It's all the same unit. It's this guy, they're just rebranded. That's it, they're otherwise the exact same thing. Uh, now, besides coming under a couple of different names, the other option is whether or not it comes with some accessories. It may or may not have a bag. It also may or may not have some sort of an adapter that will allow you to plug it into a regular 120 volt electric outlet. And that's the number two biggest reason why you might wanna buy one of these units is that it's actually level one and level two compatible. It can run on 120 volts or 240 volts. So that makes it uh, a really excellent all-purpose or like a, a travel accessory. You could keep this in your car and you could charge up at 240 volts at an RV park or at a 120 volt outlet at a friend's house. So uh, if you order one that did not come with the little pigtail accessory, not a big deal. These are easily available. They usually cost about 12 bucks. Uh, now in terms of whether or not it has a case, I guess I wouldn't say no to a case. Um, if you don't get a case for it, you might just want like a, a Velcro loop, just something to be able to handle the cable here uh, because it does have 25 feet of pretty beefy 14 gauge cable. Um, it feels substantial, it feels nice and solid. It's a little unmanageable if you're throwing it in the back of your car without it in a case or at least a Velcro loop on it. Uh, right up on the unit itself here, we've got uh, four LEDs, power, connected, charging, and fault. Uh, they are actually useful. Um, there are a few EVSCs that uh, don't actually tell you much information. Uh, this one, the charging light is actually pretty handy. It will flash when the car is charging, and that charging light will turn to solid when uh, the car is fully charged. Sometimes it's kind of nice to be able to just look at this and know if your car is charged rather than to have to look up on the dashboard. On the back of the unit, there's just a single keyhole for a screw. So very simply, just uh, take a wood screw, run it into the wall of your garage, hang this unit up. Uh, very simple, very low tech. Uh, it doesn't feel quite as solid on the wall as, as a, a larger, beefier, kind of more permanent style charger, but at the same time, it's easy to hang up, take down, make portable, take it with you. Uh, getting back to the plug that's on the end here, I recommend the 20 amp, 240 volt plug. That's kind of the standard that's on there. Um, unless you already have a 240 volt plug in your garage that's a little bit different style. Let's say you already had a plug for a, a welder in your garage, a, a NEMA uh, 650 or 1450, something along those lines. Uh, certainly you could buy one of the units with a different plug on there that would match the outlet that you already have in your garage. Uh, I personally like to use the NEMA 1450 connectors. Those are very popular at RV parks. They're good for up to 50 amps. And the other cool thing is you can pull either 120 or 240 volts out from them. So in fact, here's actually an adapter that I built. It's NEMA 1450 on the one end, that 240 volts, 50 amps. And I have multiple outputs on the other end, both 240 and 120 volts. Um, so in fact, in my garage from a single outlet, I could actually plug in two of these units. Um, kind of another neat thing that you can do there. Now do keep in mind that this is a 16 amp EVSC. Typically the smaller ones max out at 16 amps. Um, typically 16 amp EVSCs work with cars with a 3.3 kilowatt charger in them. That's the smaller charger. So that's um, like for a Mitsubishi iMeve, uh, the older and base model Nissan Leafs, and then also all the plug-in hybrids, things like a Chevy Volt, uh, plug-in Prius or Prius Prime, um, any car that has both uh, a plug on it and also a gasoline engine. Now, if you have a car like uh, one of the newer or higher trim level Leafs, uh, Chevy Bolt, uh, Tesla, any of those vehicles are going to have a more powerful charger internal to them. So if you want to have that full charge rate, you might want a more powerful EVSE. 
because you do have to keep in mind that there's three things that determine how fast your car can charge. Uh, for starters, just how big the battery is and how far discharged it is. Um, then also the actual charger that's inside the car. Now keep in mind, this is not a charger. This is an EVSE. It simply supplies power to the car. The charger is internal to the vehicle. Uh, common sizes are 3.3 kilowatt and 6.6 .6 kilowatt. And then the last thing is what EVS you're using and what the maximum current that it can supply to the car. If you have a 6.6 .6, uh, kilowatt charger in your car, but you're only using a 16 amp EVS, -y, you'll still be charging, you can still be charging at 240 volts, but you're gonna charge at about half the rate as if you were using a 32 amp EVS. -y. Uh, the only other downsides to smaller portable units like this is there's no cord wrap and there's no holster. So some of the larger units, they actually have a holster where you can kind of hang up the gun, so to speak. Um, and a lot of times built into the EVSC itself is just a place to hang up the cord. With these smaller units, what you'll probably want to do is just buy some sort of a utility hook. Anything works just find something you can uh, screw into the wall and just wrap the cord around so that it's out of the way when your car is not plugged in. Overall, this is a great unit. It's fantastic bang for the buck. It's versatile doing 120 and 240 volt charging. It's really perfect as a, a travel EVS, -y. just uh, keep it in the trunk of your car. Uh, so the, really the only reason why you would maybe not want to buy one is if you have a car that can make use of those faster charging rates. Um, maybe you would want to have a 32 or 40 amp EVSE to go with it. Uh, a really good one in that case is uh, Clipper Creek's HCS 40. Fantastic unit. That's actually the one that uh, Tesla has used with their destination charging program. Uh, it's waterproof. You can use it outside. It has a built-in cord wrap and comes with a holster. So that's a great unit if you're looking for something a little bit more powerful. But for all you folks out there with a, a plug-in hybrid or a little bit more basic electric car, I highly recommend the Duo Sita. I hope you like my reviews. Also check out the review that I did for the Amazing E EVSE. And until next time, stay charged up.